Yo guys, welcome back to another trip to thrift. This is three car boots worth of finds on a Saturday. Uh, went to the first car boot, then I went to two others which were near to each other. And then on the way back home, I went back to the first one to just give it a once over. Uh, so yeah, I'll just show you the clips of me finding stuff and then we'll come back here and we'll go through everything to find. Uh, as always, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here. Follow my Instagram, my Depop down there at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's finds, I reach on this, F on this. And then follow the wholesale Instagram again down there at the bottom of the screen. We've seen a Henry wholesale. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the clips and I'll see you back here. No, they're going to be big. Um, like Pacquiao Ones are all proper ones, like real ones, so they're 8 quid, 2 for 15 or 3 for 20. 8 quid, 2 for 15. Good one. Are they yours, were they? Yeah. Well, mine are my son's. They're probably his. Bubble or something. Well, those three quid, are they? Yeah, the two with the lettering. It's only because when I washed them, yeah. do the... Yeah, the, the, the pain in Yeah, the pro, it was, it's the only shirt that have ever done it. We like the lowest heat around. <laughs> uh, so three quid, and what, three for... Three for 20, the proper ones. Okay. Uh, that's the training tops, that's only a fiver. That one's got Ben on the back, so that's only a fiver. So these are all are these eight, the... eight, 15, or three for 20. Two, two. What about that one? Yeah, that's part of the... the that's part of that. Someone put that in the back here, yeah. It's three, six... Three, six, nine... Those are part of it as well? Yeah. So that's... Four sets of three. Yeah. So that... Just say, so if you want... One, two, three... Yeah, that's, that's 13. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's, cool. that's 4. That's 4 sets. 3. That's 18. 18. Could you do 80 for the lot if I put them ones in? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Cool. Right, as you probably saw, there were some really good football tops. Uh, but before that, we'll go through the standard stuff, a bit of sportswear, and then a couple of cool tees. And then I'll show you all the tops that I picked up. So starting off, we've got a couple of hoodies. She wanted £5 for the grey one and then £10 for the other. Uh, I got the two for £12, just a standard Nike small swoosh hoodie. Should be like £20, £25 on Depop. And then we've got this new age centre swoosh. It's like a lime green. I don't even know if these go for too much money, um, but I figured that'd be at least like £25, maybe £30. Retail is probably something silly. Then we've got the t-shirts. This one's really cool. Look at the tag on this. The Incredible Hulk from 2002. Um, I'm sure some sort of, I don't know who would wear this, but each of their own. That's the front of it. Paid a pound for it. I'm not too sure if they go for much money, but a classic sort of weird Depop fodder. Um, maybe some American would like that, but yeah, that's the top. Paid a pound for that. Hopefully like 25 upwards, maybe 45. I can, I can see someone paying 45 for that, even though it's a bit garish. Then we got a bit of Stone Island from spring summer 2012 it is beat look at those armpits uh, but i figured i'd give it a go for two pounds it's just got a small hit on the front and then that on the back 
it is actually really thrashed. I have no clue how to get um, deodorant out, but I figured I'll just give it like a proper scrub and maybe like a re-dye, do something with it. Um, but for two pounds, I'll definitely take that all day. Then we've got the final two, which is a really good graphic. Um, Shiana Twain, I think is how you pronounce the name. Um, has a really good songs from 2003 to 2004. That's the front of it. And then that is the back. I did get it from a dealer. He wanted 10 pounds and then I paid eight pounds on it. I figured it's quite good uh, and it fits me really well. So I'm gonna be keeping this one and putting it in the early 2000s collection. And then finally, before we get into the football tops, I picked these up uh, at the first car boot on my second time round on my way back home. Uh, but it's a pair of kids shoes. They are called Baby Fit. Uh, but they're dead, I don't think they're dead stock actually, because they've got a bit of wear to them, but I couldn't leave them for three pounds. I've got, I think I've got a couple of pairs of uh, kids shoes brand new in the box. But yeah, that's just another one to add to the collection. It's got like the classic early 2000s orange and brown box. And finally, we're going to get into the football shirts. Probably the reason why you clicked on this video. Uh, I'll tell you a bit of a backstory. It was the second car boot that I went to. Unfortunately, obviously I wasn't there first. Uh, so I did miss out on like the two best shirts that were there. I'll put a screenshot of who picked them up. Um, but I, I think he picked them up for £10 a piece, which is crazy. Bruised Banana and the other one. I'm not too sure if that has a nickname. Uh, but the Bruised Banana goes for like 170 to maybe two, 250 in good condition and a good size. And then I think the blue one goes for like 1 to 150. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment if I am. But yeah, I picked up a load of England shirts and then the rest of the Arsenal ones. Uh, which to be fair... The Arsenal ones and the England ones are probably a lot easier to sell than the Bruised Banana and the other one if you want to get full price for them on eBay or other selling platforms. So I could say we both won because um, the Bruised Banana is like a once in a lifetime thing to find. You don't see too many of them come out in the wild. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start with the England shirts and then we'll go from there. Most of them are early 2000s apart from this first one, which I think is 2010. And then we'll go through the Arsenal ones afterwards. In terms of price, I paid £80 for the lot. There's 17 shirts, so it came up to around £4.70. Per piece. First one, I think this is 2010 England top. I'm probably going to save all these England ones for the World Cup. Then we've got the classic 05 to 07, I think. I think this is a women's cut. Should still be good money when the World Cup comes. Then we've got this red one. Then we've got this white one. A little bit of a mark on the front, but still good money. Then this one, I picked up a couple of these a couple of weeks ago. Again, just going to store them away. And then we've got the final England one, which I think is the oldest one of the England lot. Nice early 2000s Umbro tag. I think this is from 2000. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, but I think this is actually quite a pricey one, maybe like 50 to 70, um, maybe a little bit more during the World Cup, but I'll have to have a look on Depop and see if I can find any up for sale. Now we've got the Arsenal tops. I'm gonna go in date order, hopefully. Again, I'm gonna be wrong on some of these dates, uh, but I think they're from 06 to 2002. Uh, but there's like away strips, there's third kits, there's a few training tops. But starting off, I think this is 05 to 06, around then. Uh, these ones are a bit messed up. He said he washed these and ruined them. Uh, but still, I just thought I'd add them in on the deal. That one, and then the exact same one. Again, a little bit ruined on the sponsor. But even if I put them up for like £10 all in, still making a bit of money. This next lot, I think around 04, 05. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong. I think this one's a training top. Really cool. Nice total 90 back here. Then we've got this blue one, probably like a third kit or an away kit. That red one there. Yellow one, again, like an away or a third kit. And then another red one, home strip. Really cool. Then we've got a couple of these ones. I think these are like 04, 05. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I think these might be the most valuable out of the lot of the Arsenal ones. Again, let me know in the comments because uh, I'm not too much into my football. Uh, but yeah, there's that one there. And then the exact same one. In a bit of a bigger size really cool and then the final two which i think are like 02 or 03 that one there the home strip and then i think this is a training top or might be some sort of like third kit uh but that one's really cool i love the pattern on it uh but unfortunately it has got ben on the back i think you can take this off uh but it's probably just more of a ball lake and easier to sell as it is so yeah that's it probably one of my best sort of football shirt hauls i have had a few over the years uh, but I think this is the best one. Obviously, it would have been a lot better if I got the bruised banana as well. But yeah, £4.70 per piece. You can't really go wrong. Uh, it's going to be a decent bit of money, actually, uh, when I sell all these. And obviously, it is summer, uh, so I should get them up on Depop as soon as possible. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And make sure to follow my Instagram, my Depop, down on the bottom screen. Ryan's finds, I-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. If you follow my Instagram, 
I post stories of when I find stuff on the weekends, during the week, in charity shops. Um, so yeah, give it a follow and you'll see sort of before the videos come out. Uh, and also follow the wholesale Instagram, Messina Henry Wholesale. And I think that's it. I'll probably be in Athens when this video comes out. Hopefully shooting a video if I find anything cool or any good spots. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.